Lord, set our hearts aflame with the spirit of your charity, that we may always think thoughts worthy and pleasing to you, and love you sincerely in our brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandment in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron, then, and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them, did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, the children of Israel came up to him, and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came once again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant, so he would again put the veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy is our Lord, our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God, and then worship him at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel 
among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. Extol the Lord our God, and worship at his holy mountain, for holy is the Lord our God. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Gospel of the Lord. A little interesting IF, interesting fact, IF. The book of Exodus uh, was first called uh, the book of the of the departure from Egypt. The book of the departure from Egypt. And I guess whoever puts the, the Bible together, so to speak, over the years, it eventually became you know, uh, the book of Exodus. And, and they didn't like that first uh, title, the book of the departure from Egypt, because it seemed to uh, just focus on the departure from Egypt and not uh, the infidelity, the covenant, the commandments, the, you know, everything else that happened uh, in the book of Exodus. And so while it's actually, if you look at the two titles, they, they mean the same thing, uh, the first one is just a little bit too narrow uh, in its uh, definition because it was more than departure from Egypt. It was the forming of the people. Uh, it was the creating, you know, the, the, the relationship between uh, Israel and, and Moses and Israel and uh, God. It was about the, the trek through the desert. It was about the covenant. It was about the law. It was about infidelity. Uh, and I guess naming it Exodus um, just seem less uh, less focused, less kind of the book of departure from Egypt. It's not all about just leaving Egypt. Anyway, so a little interesting IF, as I said. Um, you uh, can get through your day without knowing any of the stuff I just mentioned. <laughs> the Pearl of Great Price. What is it? C.S. Lewis describes the history of people. He, he said something like um, that uh, it's a terrible story of man trying to find something other than God to make him happy. When I was in the seminary, it was my first year in the seminary in Kentucky, uh, and it was, uh, I said, said this before, it was near. The, the seminar was near the Avenue of Gethsemane, which is uh, Thomas Burton fame. Um, and one of my classmates, Tom Ware, um, he was from um, uh, the diocese, Mont Montclair, in Vermont. Uh, he, after three months in seminary college, decided to em enter the uh, monastery, the Abbey of Gethsemane. He was attracted to uh, that lifestyle, um, attracted to the uh, the uh, 
lifestyle, but the, just kind of like the uh, the rhythm of prayer in the house, in the, in the attic. Um, and I remember the night before he went into the uh, Abbey, you know, and again, you're, you're talking about it's a cloistered uh, community. Uh, uh, we had a, a party for him. Uh, you know, maybe 15 of us that were friendly with him. Um, we even snuck into uh, the local town to get a six pack of beer. Yeah. Um, we're 18 years old. Anyway, um, one of the conversations that he had with, uh, with us is what he thought he was, at that time, what he thought he was giving up. He had a feeling of what he was gaining by going with it. He, he talked about what he thought he was giving up. Um, and uh, in, in part, he mentioned, you know, giving up family, meaning he was going to be able to see his family, you know, like, like I could, um, because they were cloistered. Um, and, and that was the big uh, sacrifice for him. Um, he also thought he was giving up freedom, because now, you know, um, his freedom, his sense of freedom was in the hands of you know, the abbot. Um, he, he was really, really um, clear about what he was giving up and, and determined to still go. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't standing in the way, it wasn't an obstacle. Um, but I remember it made, at that point in my life, early on in my journey towards the priesthood, at my point in my life, it made an impression on me that. At that point, he was ready to give up all that stuff. All that stuff to be closer to God. And the, uh, when you go to Gethsemane, as you enter the property, right, right on, the, on the wall, it says, God alone. God alone. He was giving up all that to be with God alone. And, and I reflected on what I, you know, obviously, as you left, I reflected on what I was giving up. And have ever since then reflected on what I have or am willing to give up. What's the pearl of great price? And I think that uh, ultimately that, that's the question we all have to ask in our journey in life, on our, in our spiritual walk. You know, what are we willing to give up? And, and then, you know, it's kind of a theme of mine um, because you hear it a lot, you know, what, what are we holding on to? What are we really clutching? That we're afraid to give up because we, we kind of think it's going to require something of us, of me or you. So I, th I think that um, As we go through life and we practically downsize in terms of how we live, when we move, we downsize, we get rid of stuff. But sometimes our spiritual journey, our spiritual part of ourselves, our journey, doesn't keep up with what's kind of going on physically around us. We might be physically moving to a new home and downsizing. But, you know, our own inside journey hasn't caught up with that because we're still holding on to stuff. We still have some clutter. Anyway, uh, Tom Ware, uh, he was in the monastery for five years. He never completed it, so to speak. Uh, he left and got married, happily married, and kids, what have you. It was just part of his journey towards God. Uh, it wasn't a detour. It was part of his journey towards God. And uh, even in our own lives, you know, when we 
we would look over the map of our lives, we might say that some of it, oh, took this road, I should have took that road, I should have made that choice. All those choices were part of your journey towards God, even your sins. They're part of your journey towards God. And they continue to be. But we do have to ask ourselves, what's that pearl of great price? What I'm willing to kind of give up so that I can be with God alone. We bring some of our many concerns to our loving God, for our priests and religious. May the Holy Spirit continue to strengthen them in their mission of spreading the gospel. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may the humility of Christ lead them in their governance of the people of their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For people plagued with fear and anxiety and depression, may they know God's never-ending love for them and their care for them through the for the leaving community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For our parish family, may the word of God transform us and empower us in service to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and suffering and those who care for them, doctors, nurses, ther therapists, surgeons, aides, all instruments of God's healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the faithful departed, especially we remember this morning, Albert Werfel, for the repose of his soul and the comfort of his family, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for those intentions we hold in our hearts. The Lord. Lord our Loving God, we thank you for your goodness. Please hear the needs of your people brought before you today, which we ask in the name of your Son, our Lord and brother, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given, human hands have made, and we cup for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Be God <clears throat> Our friends, let's pray that these are gifts be accepted in God, our Almighty Father. Sanctify these gifts in your mercy, O Lord, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, grant, we pray, that we may extend your charity to all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve him all the redeemed praise you 
and all your saints with one heart bless you. And therefore we too extol you with all the angels and saints as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord our God, our God, our God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus, by the power of the working of the Spirit, you give light to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries, for on the night of his betrayed, he himself took bread and gave you thanks, said the blessing. <coughs> Broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by the cross and the resurrection, we do set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you a thanksgiving, this holy and this living sacrifice. Look, we pray on the oblation of your people, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed Apostle Peter and Paul, St. Michael, your glorious martyrs, and all the saints on whose constant intercession. In your presence, we rely for unfailing help. And may the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, Please to confirm in faith and in charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope William our Bishop the order of bishops all clergy and the entire people your son has gained for you and listen graciously to the prayers of the family gathered around your altar this day in your compassion O merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. For there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, our Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Lord, we pray 
of every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, the faith of your church, and graciously grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with all of you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Please share in Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Pray. O Lord, pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit on those you have replenished with the one bread of heaven, and refresh us with the delights of perfect charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. the last verse, number 422. When Christ shall come with shouts of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul. 
How 